In this video, I'm going to show you Mount Rushmore. This famous monument is located in South Dakota in the Black Hills and is a centerpiece for the entire state. It's on the license plate, it's talked about, and all the other information about the state because Mount Rushmore is super unique and then it shows the most impressive array of carving on a mountain that I think it's in the entire world. The Crazy Horse Memorial is still being built and it's probably going to be in construction for a long time. But this memorial to Washington, Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln, all United States presidents, is unique in the entire world and that an entire mountain was torn apart and rebuilt to have their image. Now, it's pretty interesting because you can hear the helicopter tours here. You can see them flying around. Oh, that's a Black Hawk, but yeah, the helicopter tours are real popular, but they don't fly right next to the memorial because it would be this crazy buzz fest. But you really, it's not too challenging to get here. I mean, it's a little bit of mountain driving, but it's certainly not like driving in the Rockies. The Black Hills are quite easy to navigate, but I'm going to give you a couple pointers and then take you on a GoPro time-lapse tour to get up to the main viewing deck at Mount Rushmore, the gift shops, and all the other things here. There are six main parking areas that when you come here, and one thing to know is that your National Parks Pass or your interagency pass does not get you free parking here. You have to drop, uh, currently it's $10, who knows what it's going to be when you watch this video. But definitely be aware you need to be prepared to pay for parking. So that's kind of a bummer. But there's six main areas for parking and the staff tell you where to go and all this. And it's pretty contained, but come July and August, especially July 4th, don't show up late. I showed up at uh, about 10 o'clock. There's still plenty of parking, but it's busy here. I mean, don't don't be fooled that you know, you're not you're gonna be here. That's uh, like no problem. But if you go on some random off day, not in the summer, you've got a much better chance of having success. Now, there's a little bit of a diesel engine behind me here, but <laughs> it's a uh, I'll go away in a moment. The carving on this mountain took years and years and years to make it have the look that it does. So what I'm gonna do is just take you there, talk a little bit more about it, and just show you why you might want to actually see this incredible spectacle of four of the greatest American presidents of all time. Come along with me as we tour Mount Rushmore. As you walk up the avenue of the flags and the main walkway, you get a spectacular view all the way in. Here I am at one end of the viewing deck. There's a huge viewing deck that can accommodate a lot of people, so everyone has enough elbow room to get their photo, their selfie, take a picture of their friends and family, or just gasp in awe at how impressive this is. One person I heard, he said, wow, it's not nearly as big as I thought it was, because the thing is the photographs are taken from a long ways away on a pretty flat perspective so it gives you this impression that these heads are going to be I don't know the size of the entire mountain but if you were somehow able to get up there and work on them you would just be this tiny little ant on the face of George Washington crawling down his nose to do whatever the Park Service does with it. Now there is a walking path that actually goes around down there and around there's a deck behind the rocks and you can maybe see behind me another area there, so you can do that. There's also an elevator down to the gift shop and the museum and memorial to Gustafson, who actually built this thing and just had the vision to create something mind-bogglingly incredible that's known the world over. Now, as you tour around here, when you first come in, the temptations to go to uh, the visitor center, self-guided tour and everything, I would recommend just skipping that and come straight to here, get your pictures, enjoy it, and then if you have time, go with a self-guided tour, talk to people, check out other stuff. Because perhaps your time's limited, you don't want to spend time in the line, when you can walk right up to the viewing deck for free and enjoy it. So the only thing that really costs you here is parking. What I'm going to do is tour you around a little bit, show you a few more things, get some close-ups of, close of each of the bus up on the mountain, and give you a better idea of what it's like here. As you can see on the historic viewing deck, this viewer here 
if I pointed towards the mountain, is completely blocked by the trees that have grown up in the ensuing decade. So I do remember this as a little kid, this uh, viewing deck, but uh, the only solution to this is a chainsaw. And since there's the new viewing deck, which is huge and can accommodate thousands of people, uh, this one's kind of left alone. There's guys working on it here, trying to fix the viewfinders that have been broken and such, but slowly these trees are growing up and they're gonna completely block the view. So who knows what's going to happen in the future with this. And as you can see here on the Grand View Terrace, there is lots of space for countless people. So don't worry about it being too crowded. As soon as you wait a little bit, you'll be able to walk up to the rock wall and get your view of Mount Rushmore. Plenty of space. Walking along here, you get an idea of what this space is like, all the interesting steins, families to read and really learn, not just about Borglum, but the whole history of Mount Rushmore, how many people it took. It's pretty mind-blowing, really. Of course, there's the obligatory gift shop, which for why I got a postcard. It's the only non-daylight postcard other than the, the evening shots. But the exhibit halls are really where it's at, where you get an idea of just what it's like to create a mountain-sized sculpture and the time it took, the effort it took, and everything else. So I'm going to pull you in here and walk you around it. The walk to the sculptor studio is a 0.2 mile or 0.3 mile little trek down this paved path. I'm going to take you down there and give you an idea of what it was like to work here. Once you walk down the 0.2 miles or 0.3 kilometers, you'll get to the Sculptor's Studio, which is directly behind me. Gutzon Borglum's vision was created here. He went through about nine different iterations of the look, the shape, the scale, and everything else about the sculptures. And from here, 
he and his crew transferred the vision to the mountain. It's uh, pretty impressive to actually walk in and see where the original shape and scale of everything is and then how it was transferred up the mountain. So there's a whole discussion as you can hear behind me about a ranger talking about the people and the actions that were involved and necessary to make Mount Rushmore a reality. So I'm going to take you around, show you a few things inside, give you an idea what it's like, and then uh, I think get out of here because this is a great visit, but you don't have to spend the whole day with cheer, which is really nice unless you really want to take the President's Trail, which tours around from the studio, all back around, goes through the base, or around the base of the mountain, and around, and all the way back up to the top. That's a bit of a walk, so if you really want to dedicate a little bit of time to experiencing this place and where Guts and Borglum really made this place happen, that is the trail to walk. Just do note, if it's hot, take some water and give yourself time because it is a bit of a hoof. Uh, was it like two scoops for the cup? Okay, uh, one Jefferson and then the uh, the other scoops praline. Um, can you take the cone and dump it into a cup? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yes, please. That's the uh, special Jefferson recipe. One thing you need to make to sure to do is pay for your parking before you get out. And reading the ticket. Number of passengers, one passenger. Confirm. Processing, are you military? Neither. Apparently not. Perfect, so I'll just tap my credit card and I'm ready to go. My name's Aaron Lindsdow. I am a polar explorer, oddly enough, and a professional adventure and filmmaker. Please check out my video, Antarctic Tears, where I take you on my expedition to the South Pole on a world record setting crazy expedition. And also my show, World Beyond, where I take you to locations around the world. Also, check out my books, links in the description Antarctic Tears, Lost at Winnie Corner, Adventure Expedition 1, Jackson Hole Hiking Guide, uh, How to Keep Your Feet Warm in the Cold, and the 2024 Total Eclipse Guides. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of Mount Rushmore. Please like and comment on the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much and enjoy your national park tours.